Hi, I'm Sarah Lawson, and I'm a licensed designer with Sizzix. So I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, uh, lived with my mother, father, and I had two younger brothers. So one of my brothers is two years younger than me, and the other is nine years younger than me. So um, it was sort of like having, uh, I, I helped out a, lo a lot around the house when he was little because he was sort of my baby. and. I remember my mother one time telling me, uh, you don't have to do all these things, you don't have to change his diaper, he's not your baby, but I liked helping with all those things. Um, it was, it was great, a great feeling to be helpful around the house, so um, that, was, that was our family. My mother sewed a lot of projects for us growing up. We all had matching sweatsuits, you know, so the, the sweatshirt and the sweatpants, my brothers, myself and my dad you know, out of the same fabrics. And I do remember she made my first communion dress and she made a lot of drapes, so various projects. Uh, I went to uh, private school, so small classes. All the kids that I grew up with, starting with kindergarten, I was with through eighth grade and uh, it was sort of a close-knit community. Growing up, I took a lot of art classes. My mom signed me up for a lot of extracurricular weekend creative classes. I was in sports also. My dad was real into sports, so I played softball, basketball, volleyball. Uh, it was just something fun to do and fun to be around with friends. So I first learned to sew when I was in the third grade, and for a few weeks my mother taught um, my friend and I after school for about an hour, and we ended up sewing two different projects. A little drawstring bag with rope ties, and then our second and last project was uh, a little top slash dress. And I was so excited to finish that outfit, my mom let me wear it to school the next day. And it was really funny because I showed up at school and I was expecting my friend to be wearing the same outfit. We'd use the same fabric and ended up with matching dresses. And when I saw her at school, she wasn't wearing the dress. And I was a little surprised and disappointed. But then years later, I realized that, you know, a third grader sewing a dress, it probably didn't look the greatest, uh, but you know, my mom was always very supportive and she let me wear that dress to school. After those two projects, I put sewing to, to the side until I had my kids. So that was quite a bit of time later and once I started sewing as an adult, I pretty much had to learn everything all over again. As far as sewing goes, my favorite pattern designer was Amy Butler and she designed fabric as well as quilt patterns. but. My favorite book of all time is her book called Style Stitches, and in the book she had 12 different bag patterns. And at the time when I was sort of relearning how to sew as an adult, uh, one of my friends had an a event on her website, and every month we would sew a different project from the book. And after sewing all those bag patterns from Amy Butler, I realized I loved making bags so much. It was sort of a quick satisfaction to finish a bag in a day as opposed to a quilt, which might take many weeks, but uh, that started off my love of bags. So I have a beautiful family. My son's 10 and my daughter's eight. Uh, oh, I do have a husband as well. Um, he kind of gets a little irritated with me because on my website for the longest time, I would just mention my children, but not the husband. And, you know, we always have these little arguments. How come you don't mention me? Or why can't I go with you to this event or that? But he does support me immensely, letting me work on my projects, going on trips, teaching. Um, without him, I, I don't think I could have done all this. So when I first started designing bag patterns, uh, we, we had just moved into our first house, which we still live there, but it's in Chicago, and it's probably about the tiniest house that you can have without calling it a, an apartment or a condo. It was that small. I definitely wanted to make sewing a priority, so I claimed one room of the house as my sewing space, so I have all these bookshelves with all the fabric. It's not a fancy sewing room, but it gets the, the job done, and I have everything within easy reach, so it works. <laughs> um, my first thought about having Sizzix dyes was when I was making a bag, and for the bag that I was working on, it had these intricate handle tabs, which would be attached to the handle. And as I was cutting out eight of those from the fabric and eight of those from the interfacing, I thought there's got to be a better or a faster way to do this. As I was cutting my tabs out, none of them were matching, even though I was being very careful. And when sewing tabs together, especially if you're using leather or cork or another raw material, they need to pretty much look exact. And there was just no way that I could do it and make it look nice. And I thought, 
a die would be great for cutting out these tabs. And uh, it progressed from the tabs to other small projects where people would like to make a lot of them for gifts, like zippered pouches or coin purses. And that sort of got the, the wheels turning in my head for having dies with Sizzix. I think collaborating with other artists is really important too. Uh, Victoria Finley Wolf, I'm a big fan of her patterns and her fabrics. And this is the exact bag that I had made for her a few years ago in her fabric when she was promoting a new fabric line. And it's really great to establish relationships with other designers and especially Sizzix designers, which I can use their dyes to make my bags and maybe vice versa. So um, that's something that I'm excited about as well. Uh, my favorite fabric designer is definitely Tula Pink. I love her bright colors, all the, the themes that she comes up with in her fabrics. And I actually have um, this tattoo uh, based on some of Tula Pink's fabric designs. So that's the squirrel from the birds and the bees. Uh, that's Chipper. And I'm actually in a few weeks working on the rest of my arm, uh, more Tula Pink fabrics. I design bags because I feel like they're almost instant gratification. You can make a bag in an afternoon of sewing and you can coordinate it with different outfits and I am a self-professed bag lady and I have so many, dozens upon dozens of bags in my home and it's great to just pull one out based on my mood or if I need a large bag or a small bag and so uh, it's just bags upon bags for me. When I design, I like watching TV shows and movies, uh, music as well. I grew up listening to punk music when I was in high school, so I went to punk shows every week. But now I've uh, sort of evolved back to the stuff that I grew up listening to, stuff my dad liked. So I'm a really reserved person, and I feel like that's why designing sewing patterns has worked out well for me, because I can sit at home all day, work on my computer and my sewing machine, and some days I don't talk to another human being besides my kids, kids and my husband, but it's really fun going to lecture to quilt guilds or to trade shows. It really makes my day when someone has a bag that they've made from one of my patterns or when they've made their first bag and it happens to be one of my, you know, my instructions and that makes me really happy because I want everybody to sew all the bags. I just like people to have that feeling of accomplishment and once they finish a project, go to the next one try something harder and before long you'll be sewing a very intricate bag and people will think that they bought it from the store instead of made it themselves and so I want everybody to get to that, to that level and it's not hard to do, anybody can do it and I, I just want to see what everybody's making. <laughs>